Mad Money Lightning Round is brought to you by TD Ameritrade, where smart investors get smarter. It is time! It's up to the light! What's up, Robert? What's up, Robert? Tell your name or you just said the name of the game. What's up? And the lightning round is over. Are you ready, Steve? Dad, come to the lightning round, because I'm going to start with JJ in New York. JJ! Booyah, Kramer. Booyah. Uh, I'm looking at Rada Electronics, R-A-D-A, a, military A highly valued Israeli uh, weapons company, and I shoot back and I say Raytheon Technologies, a less expensive one with a lot of diversification and better growth profile. Anthony in Minnesota. Anthony. Hey, Kramer. Booyah from Bo- Minnesota. All right. What's going on? Uh, the one I'm interested in is... VNT, Von Tier. What can you tell me about Trump's that? Fleet Logistics, good business, good business. And by the way, I mean, with all the problems we're having with freight, I happen to like the XPO Logistics Company. Oh, man, this is, okay, XPO. All right, sometimes I actually forget that. They spun it off. Let's go to Bob in Indiana. Bob. Yeah. Bob. Hi, Jim. Hi, Bob. Hey, I got a question for you, okay? Sure, man. What's up? Hey, Zynga, my wife is always on the phone. I don't know a lot about phones and technology and all this kind of stuff. I owned a butcher shop for 20 years in LaGrange. Okay. I sold it, got, got a little bit of money, trying to figure out what we want to do. She's like, well, buy Zynga. I'm always playing these games. Well, it's, it's finally right stuff. time to buy Zynga. Your wife's right. I think you should pick up some Zynga. I can't believe I just said that myself, but it's absolutely true. I think that that is a decent situation. And it's been a long time. David Faber always jokes to me, when do, what time is it? Time to buy Zynga yet. Groupon and Zynga, and they're both okay. Can you imagine? Let's go to Nick in Pennsylvania. Nick! Jimmy Chill. The Chill Nick Man is in Harrison. the house. What's yeah, up? I'm Nick from Harrisburg, PA. Um, you're a legend in the game, man. Confessions of a Street Addict is one of my all-time favorites. My, oh, question is about a com- my question is about companies using psychedelics for mental health treatment. I've been reading some fascinating research, and I know Kevin O'Leary is a huge believer in this sector, in particular, Mind Medicine, ticker symbol MNMD. What are your thoughts on Mind Med as a long-term investment? Okay, yeah, I know this, and I'm not sure about it. Uh, Maybe it's because I'm the chief spokesperson for the American Migraine Foundation, but uh, I'm a little bit more, uh, uh, I I, I don't want to say rigorous, because I'm sure maybe these guys are terrific, but uh, it's... The brain is a tough one, all right? And I've got the best neurologist in the world on the board of the company that I work for, and I just need, I'd like them to check on them. How about that? Let's go to John in California. John. Booyah, Jim. John. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Uh, what are your thoughts about Hyatt Hotels? Eh, it's okay. It's not great, and I'm not sure I want Marriott anymore. You know why? Because I thought that Chesky did such a good job on the Airbnb call. And you know what? The only weak point was international, and the international is going to come back when the rest of the world settles this COVID situation. So I am telling you right here, right now, that I think that you should buy Airbnb. Let's go to Demetrius in Texas. Demetrius. J-I to the M. Booyah. Booyah. I am excited about the emerging sports betting industry. I am too, man. I am too. All the spec lovers want to know should we bet on S E A to the H for the win. Take away, Jim. Amen. You got Eric Grubin. Eric Grubin made this is a rather incredible story, okay? This company made an acquisition. It, they did an unbelievable cheap valuation versus a win by Win International. And you know I like Bill Foley, so this is not dumping on Bill Foley. And you know I like Win, my travel trust owns it. But sports entertainment acquisition did this deal. No one is focused on it whatsoever. And I think it's bountiful and fabulous. And we know Eric because he's on the show a number of times. Uh, and there's a look, it's John Collins. There are a lot of smart guys. But I think that stock at 10 is a buy, buy, buy. Betsy in California. Betsy! Hey, Jim. Um, you did something in December of 2019 that changed my life. You had James Conroy on your show. And I started following Booth Barnes then and follow it now. But that isn't really why I'm calling to thank you, Jim. I'm calling because you taught me. You taught me how to listen to a conference call. You taught me what a difference it made to have price earnings and growth. And here is a company, Jim, that has all their best events for the year ahead of them, 
They're already up 80.63% year to date. When you told me about them and I started buying them, that stock is up over 3 133 well, Betsy, percent. I like to give credit where credit is due. Yes, it did hit an all-time high today. Is that Matt Boss turned me on to it. He said, excellent, it's J.P. Morgan. I never want to take credit for something when I just know that someone enlightened me. But yes, you're right. I teach on this show. That's what the show is about. And I have taught endlessly that Boot Barn is an underpen- in an underpenetrated market. Conroy runs a great company. And thank you for listening. Thank you for letting me in your house to teach. Because that is what I'm doing at this age. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of the Lightning Round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.